Hey, welcome to another edition of Indian Cinemaniacs. What's going on, Maniacs? Hey! Hey! Hello. Hello. Hey! Hello, everybody. All I right, so we have a couple. is going to stay on today. <laughs> like, Sean, I have to tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this right now because we have to do this going forward. You have to let me finish what I'm saying and then make your statement. Because every time I've done this, you have interrupted and we missed your line. I don't want to miss your line. So wait till I turn and say, you hear my last night and then make your whatever joke you're going to make. Sound good? Yes. Okay. That's a little uh, cleaning up we had to do there. So, all right. Uh, before we go <laughs> on. Before we talk about the film Runway 34, which is my pick, by the way, and I know it's a silly film, uh, but it came up in my, in my Netflix queue, and I love the actor who both uh, directed and acted in it, so I just kind of wanted to watch it. Plus, when I found out it was a, kind of a remake of the movie Flight, which I really loved starring Denzel Washington, I wanted to see it. And we'll talk about it. It's a little goofy, but it's also, a, I think, a lot of fun. I mean, it's just... Um, Didn't someone say whoever picked this movie needs to get a life? Yeah. Isn't one of our... Yeah. Needs to one out of a billion people choices. said that, and it really affected me. That so, was pretty harsh. Yeah, yeah was that was rough. Really, was that was nice. rough. Um, so, but before we do that, we got a couple of um, cleanup things to talk about. One is John's poll. Um, right, I've been wanting to see that. Yeah, I have a whiteboard with the two sets of things on there. But do you want to explain uh, what 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 it was before I show the list of the? Yeah, yeah. So we did we did uh, a poll, and we did comment recommendations. So the poll was we each picked a film. Each box picks a film. We put the poll out, and you, the viewers, got to decide the order in which we watch those films. Okay, we're going to watch all five of them, but in the order you guys pick. The second thing I did was on the last show, we asked you to recommend a film, but not just the title of the film, right? Like most of the times you just say, hey guys, please watch this. This time I said, look, you got to make the case of why we should watch this film. Then based upon the cases that were made, I would pick, I was originally going to pick five, but frankly, some, <laughs> excuse me, some of the cases that were made were really good. So I think I actually picked eight. So how we're going to do this is, one week, we'll do our picks in your order. The following week, we'll do the viewer wheel where randomly we'll select one of the films that you guys chose, and that's the one that we'll do, and we'll alternate back and forth. So now we've got you know 13 films to watch, some based on your viewer poll, some based on the actual picks that you made. And for those of you who uh, uh, participated, we had uh, well over 400 people respond to the poll, which is the biggest one we've had so far so we really great appreciate it. so let's see what happens your poll's very popular y y well you know what are you going to do i see what you did there sean he does I, I heard it i just the beginning it. of anyway, every show so that's what we're doing so you've got the right. so the wheel is back i want to do it now Let, okay so there's the poll movie order and there's what's going to be on the wheel with right. with uh viewers names right they're yes. they're use their usernames yep okay i expected panther patali to do better i'm disappointed yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, the ones we picked, I guess I'm not surprised because I threw in that Drisham, which was the original version. Right. I think that was disappointing Miles for some people. Um, but we have a tie, the the Panther yeah. Poncelli. And they, so why'd you pick Drisham for fourth? I don't understand. Uh, that. Well, I mean, it's, it, it I has mean, fewer letters. Same. So it, it doesn't really matter. Either I don't really We could watch that. So, so. we will be flip flopping week to week with these. And then uh, that so this is going to run a few weeks for us. Yes, this is going to this is going to go for a while. Two other things. One is a kind of a sad note. Ray Stevens passed yeah, away. Yeah, the Punisher. Stevenson. Stevenson. I'm sorry. Um, 58 years old. He was also he was in RRR. He played the. Um, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Governor Scott. So, yeah. Yep. So he passed away. That was. Oh, I thought you were talking about the guy who sang the streak. Oh, they call him the streak. That's. Woo. That's not Ray, Ray, Ray Stevens. That? That's Ray. St I said Ray Stevens, so that's you probably Ray why you guys. Yeah, Ray, Ste Ray Stevenson has been a lot of stuff, and he's actually one of my favorite character actors ever since um, he was in Rome on HBO, and he's just a really interesting guy. And then when he died, everybody said he was wonderful to work with, yeah. including Raja Mooley and people from that that set. So that's that's a real that's a real. He was set also in movies. Thor. He was in the Thor movies. Mm -hmm. um, the Punisher, uh, Warzone. Yeah, they he did find out. Did they the find Irish out? movie he did an Irish he was young. Why, did they find out how he, I, he was on a he was on a movie set actually yeah apparently I don't think that movie may have a good chance of getting made because I think he was cast after they replaced uh years ago the initial actor who was cast as the lead a man named 
Kevin Spacey. So I'm not sure if that movie is uh, is going to be doomed or not, but I wish them well. And he had a big role in the new, uh, I always mispronounce it, Ahsoka, mm-hmm. the Disney show. He had a big role. Oh, yeah. In that. So uh, he, he is one of the leads in that show. He um, did have a he yeah. did have a quote I liked where he said when they put the lightsaber in his hand he couldn't help but make the noise <laughs> and he turned it on so the sweet guy everybody does that though. exactly I mean not nerd not just nerd <laughs> yeah it's a tough sad. tough one yeah. so rest in peace uh, the other thing I want to bring up and Drew uh, I sent Drew a text today about I sent everybody and Drew responded which was great uh, another I'm going to call it another YouTuber uh, name I think his name is. Um, uh, Patrick H. Willems. Patrick H. Willems, yeah, who, did a, who did an hour-long uh, YouTube video on Bollywood and actually went over to India. And he did a nice thing where he reviewed basically eight films starting, I think, in the 1920s, right up until the early 20s, 2020s or 2007, something like that. Um, and it was a good primer on, on uh, Hindi films basically and and kind of hit all the things we've been hitting throughout our discovery mm-hmm. of of uh, Indian films starting with RRR which is the same thing that happened to him um and he kind of hit all the notes that we've been talking about he actually went and saw a cricket match and the guy that started in the film we're he talking went about to India. He, yes, went he went to went India to he India. went over yeah. wow. and um he got to visit the big film uh production company actually at had a fire two days after he left it, which is funny because that's part of the plot in the last film he talked about, yep. which was Om Shanti Om. Om Shanti Om. Om Shanti Om. Now, the thing, the person I didn't know about was this Khan guy with the, the hands thing, right? Shah Rukh Khan, the Shah, biggest oh, movie star SRK? in the world. Yeah. I, a, that's, yeah. I know you guys, I know we talk about him, but this was, Gigantic. you know, people make pilgrimages to his house and just wait yep. outside his house. It's just amazing. <laughs> but it was a, it was a beautiful primer on all the stuff that we've been talking about. And I just want to shout that guy out because he has, you know, he's got a lot of money behind it. He's got good production value. We actually want to put the link to it. You want to put the link? I below think the we comment? should. Yeah, I think we fine. should call him out. Yeah, yeah. I think that. it's a good, Absolutely. um, especially for our, Amer- if any of our American viewers watch this, it's really a good way to get into what's going on and why we were so excited. He, he, he had all the same feelings we yeah. had as he was talking about it. So that was a lot of fun. That's and I have to say one. this, he didn't look too good playing cricket, but at least he admitted that he admitted <laughs> that, uh, no, we'll, <laughs> we'll share the good. link. We don't mind sharing the link. That's why you should yeah. subscribe, hit the notification button. And as always, yeah, maybe he'll subscribe. Smash the like button. And I really want to see the last film he talked about, which is, uh, we, we mentioned it, Om Shanti Om, I think his name. Om uh, Om. Which is really all about Bollywood and all the famous actors that we've seen are featured in dance numbers and cameos and all kinds of stuff. So, oh, really? Uh, it's pretty cool. One of the guys is even, one of the stars was the guy, one of the guys from Temple of Doom. You know the guy with the skull mask? Yeah, he played yeah. Mola Ram. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a famous Indian actor. I had no idea. And so... Good, yeah, good, good, uh, good, good, good YouTube video. It's really good. So, all right, all right. cool. But now, let's talk about Runway Thirty Four. Oh, so. oh man. yeah, it wasn't as good as Runway Thirty Three. Yeah, you know, yeah. One way, Runway Twenty Seven was probably the best in the series. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, okay, that's good. I wish I interrupted you while you were saying that. <laughs> Runway Thirty Three. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is starring, starring yeah, and directed the rim shot there. Dude. I'm gonna say this. Okay, here we go. Rim shot. For that That's gonna help that <laughs> you thank you debbie <laughs> you know what debbie i think that was the right choice right. i commend you um the three the three main people ajay D- devgan obviously he's our guy from rrr he's yeah, our guy Devgan. from drisham drisham he directed and acted in this film yeah. um amitol Bak- bakhan bakchan bakchan amitab bakchan yes playing he's playing uh, an official probably in the faa or whatever their version of the faa is huge star yep uh, mm. Raku Very Singh, yeah. I think, played the co-pilot. Great name, Tanya Albuquerque. What a name. Oh, that's yeah. Albuquerque. <laughs> Albuquerque, like the American city. I think that's the point. And then uh, who's our guy? Um, Boman Irani, isn't he? Uh, who's the guy from Three Idiots? The Virus or whatever his name. Oh. Was, was he the head of the company? The creepy, no, yeah, he was the head of the company. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. professor. The guy who played enemy. Virus? The guy who was in Three Idiots playing yeah. the professor. It was a virus. Yeah, What's that's that? his name, Virus. Okay, yeah. he's in this. He's playing. He plays the owner of the the uh, the, 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 airline. the airline. He's the CEO that wants the sale to go through. So he's. Yeah. Like I got to look that up because I, I didn't catch that. I I, I don't him. think that's it is. 
Yeah, hundred wow. percent. How the hell did I miss that? I don't know. You're the expert too. Hmm. Well, who's know. going to read the plot for this one? All right, so we don't really need to read it. This is the the no, plot no. of Ralph. You what? picked it. I think you should do the plot. Okay, I'll read the plot. I was going to just tell you it's flight, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Inspired by true incidents, Runway Thirty Four revolves around Captain Vigrant Kana, played by Ajahn Devon, a flying prodigy, whose flight takes a mysterious course after takeoff. From an international destination now if you know the movie flight you know that denzel plays an alcoholic who ends up uh, saving a whole flight of people by flipping the plane upside down and landing it upside down and saves almost everybody on the plane i think three or four people died in that crash so this is kind of inspired by that film it takes we're going to have to do spoilers because this came out in 2022 i kind of don't want to ruin it if you haven't seen it um, so we'll talk about that down the road. Same with Flight. I guess if I give away Flight, I kind of give away what happened here. But Well, fortunately, both of those movies, if you stop watching after about an hour, you'll be fine. So I don't agree with that. I thought Flight was fantastic, and this one was a lot of fun. Albeit the CGI looked a little funky. and Ugh, A little funky. Uh, the music was really kind of spot on. And, uh, and Okay, so, but, but, and so both pilots in these films, in Flight and in this one, are these basically super pilots they're guys that are very intelligent drink a lot party a lot and have a flight the day after partying all night with a friend uh, and something happens on the airplane that they have to i think it's i think it's severe weather it's like a monsoon or Cyclone. A, uh, something something really yeah, severe that they get caught up in and he ends up and it's no spoiler but he ends up rescuing landing the plane uh i think one person passed away after the fact she died a of a heart, heart attack. attack she was already very sick she was she? sick and because they were late getting to where they had to go to she couldn't get the medical attention passed away and that's one of the people that died and it figures into this plot same with alcohol figures in this plot as it did in flight um and he is a guy who's got photographic memory you know he's got the uh, photographic memory so he remembers everything in his life and he's able to remember runways and all this stuff and that figures in the plot as well Anyway, this is sort of a kind of an ego play for, for the actor in this one, I think, especially when the title of the song that's playing throughout the whole thing is called Alpha Male and Subtle. how cool he is and how every women, woman are looking at him and dudes are looking at him like he's the coolest guy in the world and he's got a great wife and a daughter. Um, it's a it's it's okay movie. It's fun. I found it fun. I kind of like comparing it to the other one. They twisted the end a little bit compared to flight uh if you saw flight you know that um both these men after they rescue everybody go on trial and uh possibility of jail time and denzel uh, it turns out denzel was an alcoholic was drinking that's probably why he was able to flip the plane the way he did <laughs> somehow right um my father flipped many a plane okay okay um well he was an alcoholic so he had to for that so okay but he didn't really flip a plane. Maybe in his mind he no. did. Okay. A car. So flight was a little more had some humor in there. Believe it or not, with all the stuff that was going on in that, John Goodman played uh, uh, the Denzel Washington's uh, drug buddy, who was able to uh, get him cleaned up for a trial that he had to go to by feeding him drugs. Basically, it was kind of a fun scene, and, and John Goodman was fantastic. There's no humor in Runway 34 that I can remember. It's pretty straightforward storytelling, uh, but it's all about what a hero uh, the pilot was and what he did to save everybody, and he was up against the odds. The guy that was playing the FAA or the head of whatever department was, was pretty much after him, and his quote throughout the whole movie is, you make a mistake, so you learn from that mistake, and that's kind of the, the theme of this film. And his co-pilot, I think in the trial, was, was there to testify against him throughout Albuquerque. Well, was that was to... a big difference between flight and this. Yeah. Because right. in flight, the co-pilot immediately knew that Denzel Washington was drunk. But right. he stood by him and sort of like wouldn't testify against him because he knew that Denzel Washington, drunk or not, was the only person who could have landed that plane and you know and survived right and that's the same premise with this this was the but only she, guy that like, she gives in and you know well she get pressure I'm, to do that yeah right? he pushes yeah, her i'm gonna talk about definitely like bullies her into yeah. saying that and then she regrets it but yeah she doesn't lie he, to yeah, protect the him. Uh, prosecutor is a real bully the investigator yeah it's actually it's a great battle of wills you know um 
between Aja and the um, prosecutor. AJ. Yeah. AJ Devgan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what'd you guys think? Well, I, I mean, I, can I start off? Of course. Well, you know, I, I you know, I teach screenwriting and um, when I looked at the opening of this film, this is an opening I would show screenwriters, you know, because the uh, thing, you know, that you have to have an entrance. You have to have an entrance. If you want a big star in your film, you have to have an entrance that a big star would love. And this is like a total I am the man. As you said earlier, it's the alpha man. That's the name of it the song. so right? cool. <laughs> and what I was using in my class, I was using the script for the new version of um, Star is Born with Bradley Cooper. And it's like, you could, if you read the script, it's like all building up to his, him walking on stage and everybody loving him. And you just in the script, which he co-wrote, you know, it's all about how great he is. You know, every little thing is like, what a legend this guy is. You know, and I tell people, if you want an actor in your film, a big actor, you have to give them an opening like this. And I think, um, you know, he gave himself a great movie star opening. You know, he's arrogant, but he's but he, he's arrogant. He's conceited, but he also has got the goods. You know, I think I think that's I think that's a good point because the point of that introduction isn't to say he's like a good guy we don't yeah. know yet but he's he's you know the guy I, I as you're talking about this i'm thinking i was going to say it's of a recent movie but it's 20 years old already when you first meet johnny depp in the first pirates of the caribbean movie yeah and he's standing regally and he's commanding oh, yeah. the sea and you find out he's on a tiny little ship that's sinking it tells you everything you need to know in about 45 seconds and so that's a really that's a really good uh, point because we i don't know if i like him when i first meet ajay devgan's character but i sure know who the movie is about so yeah, so I mean, to me, this is really classic, modern, I was going to say Hollywood screenwriting, but it's Indian screenwriting. And, um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's very commendable in the realm of screenwriting. And um, I know a lot of people didn't like this film when it was announced. A lot of the people, our viewers were like, ah, but I found the film really quite exciting. And I know some people on this podcast are really going to lay into the CG a bit. But to me, the CG didn't matter at all. I thought the, the thing was very suspenseful. And, you know, this is another thing they always say, like, if you want to do a nice low budget movie that doesn't look low budget, put it, set it on a plane because all you need is the plane set or a submarine because all you need is the submarine set and you can get cheap CG on everything else. And um, but to me, this is of all the films we've seen. This is the most Hollywood. And, you know, and well, it's like flight. So in a sense it is, but you know, it's really kind of Hollywood structured and it's Hollywood style excitement. I think Hollywood would have put a little more, had a couple more, would have had a comic relief character in it, you know, but, um, well, they also Schneider, wouldn't have, I, I don't think they would have been this bold to just, I mean, he, you would have known he was an alpha male in the Hollywood yeah. version without yeah. saying he's the alpha male, right? It would just, like Brad Pitt or whoever it is that, you know, we look at and go, okay, he walks on the screen, you know what's, you know, you know who he is. This, they're saying it. They're singing that he's the alpha male. Yeah. And, I mean, he is. He's, he's got a well, that's this guy. Com I, that's common of Indian films. Of course, that's they what I'm saying. On, I think, yeah, I think nose, lyrics. Uh, it's okay in these Indian films for him to be that way because they, I imagine when they're watching this, if they went to the theaters to watch this, they're cheering when he comes on the screen, right? And they're and and same thing at the end when the music kicks in again, you know, it's like yeah, I'm sure they're cheering about. I that. will tell you um, if they this saw is the, this is the third film we've seen with him, Ajay, and he's my favorite Indian actor. Yeah, he's my favorite too, Sean. I really love this film. I don't know the excitement of the plane, and there was another film um, with Scully. Scully with. Tom Hanks of Scullenberg landing on yeah. the end. Yeah. yeah, and it was similar because there was a trial too. So here's another wise. I like the the hero versus the anti-hero in a film because he does arc at the end and he comes out to be, you know, flying high. Um, you know, he's the good guy. You're rooting for him after he has a night of debauchery and, and you know, drinking and crazy. And then he sobers up. I mean, he, he sticks to the rules because he had 12 hours before his flight began. And that was that pretty much the next day. Did he? Did he? Did he? That That's whole something. Scene. That's whole what time. he says. I thought that whole scene where he was laying on the bed and he was still drinking. I, I didn't think he did the 12 hour. Maybe I'm wrong. I, 
I felt uh, like he got on that plane. He was still a little bit buzzing. Well, he has a photographic memory, so I trust him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's and it does seem like in the trial he never was never lying. Like when he didn't want to answer a question. Yeah, he seems like he has some integrity about his, you know. You know, testimony. he had a chip on his shoulder too, because as he says through the thing, which is true in real life, is um, you know, if if a plan lands safely, it's because of everybody. But if there's a problem, it's always the, the pilot. The pilot always gets blamed. I think that was yeah. brought up in this one too. Yeah. yeah. Um and and Anyway, well, let's let's hear from John and Chris because I want to get into the spoilers. And, and Drew, I'm sorry, get into some of the spoilers that differentiated this from Flight, which was pretty interesting. Uh, go ahead, Chris. Did you like yeah. it? Uh, no, not really. Oh, I didn't um, think so. You know, it's it's funny. Um, bear. It was it was just a little too once again. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it was too long, but I'm gonna preface this to all of our other to our viewers here. Um, and I'll talk about this on our other show. I went to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 this weekend, and I thought that was too long. So it's not just like, hey, Indian movies, which tend to have a longer runtime, I have an issue with. I loved Lagan. That's the longest thing I've watched in, since Lawrence of Arabia. Anyway, um, I, I, I liked the first half far better than the second half. Um, the flight parts were pretty good. They were pretty intense. I still thought they were drawn out a bit. But honestly... I really was let down during the whole um, wow. inquiry sequence because it turns out that like, you know, he starts talking, they deliberately set us up to think that he, he really has been out partying and debauchering, you know, and just being out of control, but he hasn't really, you know, he drives super fast. He's sure he has some drinks. And then they show you that little, like the, the, the clock spinning real fast and to give you the idea he's been sleeping. And then at the end, it's like, Hey, it's 12 hours and I didn't do that. And you know, it was the next day and he just turned out to be much, much, I would have found him a far more interesting character if he, and I, by the way, I haven't even seen flights. I never caught up with it. Um, I just would have found him to be a little bit more interesting of a character if he had been a little bit more, um, flawed, duplicitous in, in flawed. Thank you. You know, he's this amazing pilot. And like you said, but he, you know, he makes a bad choice in the air. And, the, and it's funny because like you said, uh, Debbie, um, it's like the, the, the Sully Sullenberger movie. You know, the big part in the inquiry is he's like, you know, you have to make those decisions in a split second. You know, they didn't get 17 chances to, to fly back to the thing in, in the simulator that proved you could do it and that kind of thing. Um, but, but uh, you know, it's funny. I, I, I like him as an actor. I think he's a great actor. I think he had that kind of coolness or cool catness that all flight uh, I'm sorry all pilots at least want to think that they have you know <laughs> I know a couple of pilots and uh one of whom flies uh he actually flies for FedEx and he's a really great guy and he's he's but I have to admit you know being a pilot it, there's a certain kind of I can do this really rare thing and he's a great dude he's really down to earth but he does kind of have a cockiness about him swagger, and, and swagger. Like, alpha male swagger yeah, a little bit. He's got some swagger there. You have a song for him to play in his headphones when he gets exactly. in the song. Yeah, get in the alpha male song. But my, my I guess my big thing was I thought that the inquiry sequence was really kind of drawn out. And then when it just turned out that, hey, he hadn't really done anything wrong at all. He had followed all the rules. He had done all this. And then in the very end, we find out it was the stewardess that drank. Oh, that, I don't understand that. I don't know if we're saving that for the spoiler. Might as well get it. Might as well I think spoil it. It's too late I mean, now. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> that is, and Chris, I'm going to spoil Flight, okay? Because that is the the difference between the two films is Denzel was drunk. Yeah. And it was his bottles they found at the bottom of the trash can. Exactly. So through the whole this whole movie. I'm thinking, okay, he's up there lying like Denzel. Well, it turns out he wasn't lying right. at all. And that what was stalling. That was. I, was I think that was a cheat too. It I mean, was. I felt that way. It was because he that went the, into the bathroom. It was a stewardess. He yeah. he had that nip, and he goes into the bathroom. Right, and that was it. And then at the end, you find out it was hers. That was a total cheat. So, that, but wait yeah. a minute. Let me just. We see him. He's got the coffee. He takes the whiskey out, and didn't he pour it in the coffee? We never saw that. Yeah. No, because that's why. That's why I assumed he went in the bathroom so he could do that in the bathroom. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I thought. So that, that to me, I was like, yeah. So, so when, when that when that gets that was a big thumbs down for yeah. me on that yeah. as a plot I didn't device. Like well, because that they don't he unlike Denzel and right. what went on in Denzel. D D Denzel's a brave actor, right? He doesn't mind playing that. I mean, he ends up going to jail. Training day. He ends yeah. up yeah. He went. To, he ended Training. up going to jail for what he did. 
So he took responsibility. There's no way that this film would let. I mean, I don't think so, given that he directed and acted in it. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be that also he would maybe be the, the Indian floor. audience wouldn't accept that. Maybe, perhaps. Well, maybe alcohol, it's less their him. relationship in India, well, based on the films we've seen, the relationship right. of alcohol right. in India, particularly, it seems like it varies from area to area. It does. You know, so, um, and they warn you. You put the labels up with the smoking mm -hmm. and the drinking. So Speaking There's of the smoking, of that was the one funny thing. Funny thing was the... He, uh, at, there's no smoking here. Well, I haven't lit it or whatever right. he keeps saying. Well, that's so. at the I end. I wanted too. to buy cigarettes. Yeah. At the end, he's changed, that. and then he pulls out the cigarette. So. I go, maybe he hasn't changed. Uh, Drew, well, like, anything? Drew, what oh. do you got? Oh, go ahead, Chris. Well, Chris, Chris. Chris. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, Sorry. I was just going to say the, the whole thing is I really would, I wish they hadn't put that bit with the stewardess in with the bottle to leave a little bit of a question there yeah. about his character. Right, I think that would have been a much yeah. more satisfying ending um, yeah, cool. just to basically completely exonerate the guy. He is on a pedestal. He is the ace pilot right. and he would never, ever do anything. And so, the family of the woman who had a heart attack ends up forgiving him at the end, even right. though they weren't for the longest time. So, well, I mean, that's to me, that could be legitimate. And the guy, the, the guy prosecuting him begrudgingly yeah. shook his hand hope and said you, you are probably this. the right. hope you learn but you are one of the greatest pilots right. yeah even know. when the villain yeah. is the like the guy doesn't know how to shave his neck because he had hair i don't know the beard hey hey, 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 hey it was hey, pretty hey. low leave buck john alone all right <laughs> no not buck john i'm not talking about our guy Deca. oh yeah, RJ, yeah. his, his yeah. beard went down here anyway so yeah. true <laughs> true i i think you you said you only watched the first hour is that no no i <laughs> this was to me this was just like flight once the actual airplane um sequence is over it really runs out of gas it's one of these things for me like the the movie peaks so early and i'm not sure what the right solution to that is because you could say okay we'll do it like sully did it where it saves it till the end where you yeah, see the actual great. incident except i didn't think it was great because i had two problems with that one was that we already knew the real incident yeah so there wasn't really any suspense in, in what was going to happen and also the whole premise of both flight and runway 34 is as we watch it we go I think these guys are doing something wrong and there's going to be an inquiry anyway. So it makes sense that somebody would be really aggressive trying to figure out what was going on in Sully. The way that Clint Eastwood set it up, it was like a witch hunt to try to get Sully. that didn't actually happen. They have to have oh, an yeah. inquiry and all that kind of stuff. But the, the whole thing where Sully might have made a mistake, like the guy's an incredible pilot. He saved everybody. We have to investigate it because it's a plane crash. It doesn't have any drama unless you make it up. The, the flight and runway 34 stories have an inherent drama built into them. And uh, I have to say the I, the CGI I noticed, of course, it didn't bother me that much because I got into it. I mean, if you're comparing it to flight, Robert Zemeckis is, you know, one of the greatest image creating filmmakers ever. Mm -hmm. So when he has Denzel Washington inverting an aircraft, uh, you believe it. I mean, yeah. the whole thing is so real. And so it was really fun to sit and watch and, you know, the big TV and the big sound and everything. But um, I have to say, and I like Ajay Devgan a lot. This is our fourth movie with him, I think. So I don't know if he's beating Amir Khan or not. Well, we did we did Amkara and Drisham and RRR and then this one. And, and Drisham too. Oh, I keep forgetting <laughs> that he was RRR. Yeah, yeah, he's and he's he's he's, in, he's in RRR and he's you, you you cast him in that role in RRR because everybody oh, who knows he is. him and because yeah. he has that that vibe and everything. He's got those those hooded eyes. I mean, he's I mean, he's he's wonderful. He's he's great in this. And the thing is. I don't know how to get past the part where like I was like, whew, this was very exciting. And there's still an hour, hour and a half left in both of the movies. And I just didn't think it was as interesting. I will say, though, uh, I used to fly airplanes in high school. I took flying lessons and I loved doing it. And then I decided, well, I'm not doing it professionally, so I'm not going to keep doing same it. Same with me, too. I did the same thing, too. Did you? So, you know, yeah. it, it's fun. It's so fun. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I like watching movies that have aviation in them, yeah. whether they're realistic or not. And my favorite example is um, probably Executive Decision, because oh. at the end, Kurt Russell has to land a jetliner and they have to talk him through it. And yeah. I saw that movie with my father. And apparently, when he's trying to remember what to do, I was in my seat at like, I don't know, I was uh, 20 or something going, flaps, flaps, flaps. And then Kurt Russell goes, oh, damn it, flaps, you know. So watching them fly the plane and, and the detail that they did it was realistic enough in runway 34 that that didn't really that didn't really bother me and there's a lot of stuff about like of course you can land planes in bad weather that's they yeah. even say in the movie and, use and land right, right at the edge of the cliff right well, that, that, that was the cliff right. that was the movie drama and that's fine but i mean the thing is I, I really thought that they would um they would go after him for his decision to not uh 
manage his fuel correctly yeah and like yeah. that was a like an, you don't have to know anything about aviation to know like well you're going to run out of gas so if you do like the real stories that it's based on it's based on basically two real things one of them i guess that when they finally put the plane down it really really was their last attempt they would have run out of fuel and it was their seventh try or something like that so they could have gone after him and said you know, you're not going to make it to Cochin. You're supposed to go to Bengaluru. And, and they, they kind of give him an excuse for that because you have that guy in the tower who doesn't give them the message. Mm -hmm. But I really thought that's where Amitabh Bakchan was going to go. And instead he went with the whole, like, you know, you closed your eyes and you're too cocky and you were drunk and all this kind of stuff. But but I wasn't really that interested in it. And Amitabh Bakchan is a really interesting actor. And it was really kind of like so full barrel melodramatic yeah, more this than is very I rote. Expect. this is a very rote film this was not yeah. i mean uh, yeah, i didn't, I didn't it love was it entertaining yeah i th again the, the first hour i i mean i was digging it i was really digging it. i liked everybody in the cast i liked uh, mm -hmm. tanya albuquerque you know it was it was fun but after after the plane landed and i exhaled it was just like flight these aren't terrible movies, but I uh, like half. Of them. I love that stuff in flight. The, the like I said, the John Goodman scene and the trial, and yeah, and there, Sully was the same way. They really, really gin up the it. they gin up the witch you know the witch hunt. I get it. And all three of these films had that same trope where they do the they they put the pilots in the simulators and. Uh, we did 11 versions of this, and nobody did what you were able to right. do. They said that right. in all three of those films. So, I mean, they're, they're typical things. But, I mean, yes, it didn't have – I know you didn't like the one in Flight, but Flight had a much better uh, courtroom drama thing. That I this agree. One, this yeah. one was a little – you know, obviously, it was, didn't have the energy that, that Flight had. So I, I can see why you think that. And then Tanya Albuquerque barely said anything in the trial. She was just kind of sitting there, I guess, just to keep him nervous or something. I don't know. But – all right, John. Yeah, she was she was a more interesting character in the cockpit with him in yeah. the first half of the movie. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I uh, okay. So, um, it's funny because I actually like uh, the courtroom stuff. I I liked uh, Bak Chan especially because I've been watching a lot of stuff with him in it, and he's just such a force. That voice of his, uh, he's such an authority figure. But my whole thing, I I actually like this movie. I wasn't bowled over by it. I liked it. Um. My problem is, like, I've watched, uh, I just watched Singham, and I've already watched Singham Returns with, with uh, Ajay in it. And I felt like in this movie, who I, I, I like, I, I like a lot, I, I like his stuff. I just thought he was, um, he was a little one note in this movie, character wise. Like, there was no ups and downs. It was like, one thing the whole time and I, I i wasn't crazy about that you know that's it may be because he's acting and directing in it too because when you look at the be. behind when you look at the behind the scenes he's bouncing back and yeah, forth it certainly could yeah. be but the i the, i did i didn't think was one of his better performances okay um the the cgi really bothered me like every time they showed that airplane it looked so fake even the emergency vehicles when the plane crashed were cgi you could tell it was cgi and it just like i don't know why it bothered me it really it was i found it really distracting um cool. but overall and and that that cheat there at uh, that really bugged me at the end when, when, i wish they didn't put that scene in i would have i wouldn't have been the wiser but it also you also understand why he passed the lie detector test right they're making well, you think he's lying no no they said the drink thing right and he said, well, yeah, because he drank water that day. But he wouldn't have taken a lie detector test if he drank on the plane. He wouldn't have. Unless, so, unless he was as cool as you're saying his one note is, and maybe I, he thought he I could get away with it. I don't buy that. No. I don't buy that. I don't I think know. That, I think well, there's a true. reason they don't use lie detectors as evidence in trials. Right. Right. And but, it's very easy to defeat one. I'm not going to well, tell you how, but, you know, I've worked with the government and Please do tell, Well, Sean. listen, George Costanza told you everything you need to know. Sean, It's not a lie. Tell if you believe it <laughs> well and we're supposed to but we're that, that's the whole thing that bugged me about the end of the film is we think he's lying we think right that, just like denzel well, that we he was think he got drunk. away with it well he's right. not really right. lying how cool is he he's he's, he's bending he's, the truth he's not they're asking him slightly the wrong question because when they ask him directly he says i'm not going to answer that Right. So it's like he never lied. But it's setting us, the audience, right. up yeah, to believe. I don't that disagree with that, Sean, but that, that's right. But they're leading you to believe he had that drink. That's right. And, yeah. and, and to me, I would have rather thought, okay, he beat it. He got around that lie detector test and the questioning. So he, that's how clever he is, right? Mm -hmm. But that isn't what it was. He didn't drink it. 
So to me, that was a cheat of the character. Well, it's also so a cheat. It's sitting on the table, and you see him looking at it That's all the right. time too. That's right. So they're yeah, setting. It's you like up an accusing drink. witness right there. But I loved like when he when he did the flight uh, flight pan flight plan in that room, and he just glances oh, yeah. at it, and the guy calls him out on it, and he starts spouting off all the stuff. I thought that was really cool. So I did like the movie. It kept me engaged. And unlike most of you, I actually like the trial stuff. I, I really did enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I love the trial stuff. I thought yeah. it just I defeated the movie, it at the end. Yeah, yeah. I think the yeah. movie was in two parts. The first part was the action, and and it has a resolution, the end. And then the second part of the movies, two, two movies, uh, with the trial. And that also arced. But I do believe that the character, the main character, did arc. His character did arc, and it was a beautiful transition because at one point when he is so devastated, I mean, he saves the whole, everybody's life. Oh, you mean because he, the woman who died? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and he's then, not defending himself because of it. Right. Okay, so the reason why then he got really internal, you could see the wheels in his head going <clears throat> when he is sorry that the woman had died, and he went to the daughter and apologize to her and there was a reason that this has happened he was he blamed somebody for his father's his death. father's death so it was very internal and a lot of that was just beautiful to watch the i, I agree that. with that except for the end where the guy says don't smoke because he he went through this arc he's changed he's going to be a better person and the last scene is him pulling out the cigarette. Like he was just I'm joking. Back, back. Actually, if you look at the film, he didn't change at all because he starts as alpha male with the reflective sunglasses, and he ends with alpha male, reflective sunglasses, walking through the you know he's a cock of the walk again, walking right. through the airport with you the, the that way. and the fancy be... watch and the well, watch that they yeah, close up. But on. you know, cool is not going to change just because like you... me. Yeah, right. Cool is always going to be there. And doesn't matter internally, you could be changing volumes, you know, big things going know. on I, internally. I mean, and let's, 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 let's I, praise I, wait, one wait, thing. Wait, let me finish what I was just Yeah, saying. go ahead, John. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, I think I think what you said about when he confronted the woman uh, whose mother died. I, I totally he's making with, a song from a movie. I totally watched. agree with that. You, I mean, you saw the pain on his face because he promised her he would get her back, right? And that devastated him that he saved everybody but her. And the fact that he saved all those people, the one person who died weighed more heavily than everyone he sure. saved. But I think, I think he is the person at the end that he was at the beginning. He he's smarter than everybody else. He's a uh, super pilot. And I don't think he went through this big character arc. I think he was the same person he started off as. Um, and and I, I think that's what they wanted. I don't think they wanted this big, you know, I think the lawyer is probably the one who changed a little bit because at the end he said, hey, you know, I've never seen anyone do what you did. Don't waste this opportunity, you know, that type of thing. But I think he was the same at the end as he was at the beginning. I don't know. And that's the guy I want in the cockpit. That's the guy I want. That's right. And the reason he was upset, you know, he's like, it's the movie. I don't know if you guys have seen plane. I think drew, you said you saw plane. Sure. Yeah. That whole thing is about how the pilot takes responsibility for everyone. And I think that he lost the one person, the woman that had the heart attack was because he's a pilot. He's supposed to lose nobody. I think he would have had that feeling no matter what. And he said, trust me. Right. Yeah. So but, but before you go on, I just want to say one thing, because you guys keep talking about all these other movies with airplanes and stuff. And I, I got to tell you, this harkened back to um, a pretty classic episode of The Incredible Hulk when Bruce Banner was landing a plane. And as he's on the runway, he turns into The Incredible Hulk Uh-oh. and he has to land the plane as the Hulk. It just brought <laughs> me back to that. Did his feet um, go through the floor and he his feet his went through feet? the floor because he had to hit the brake? I could have written that one. So I, my right. favorite, my favorite person coming in the cockpit and landing was Keenan Thompson in Snakes on a Plane, <laughs> where where it turns out he got all his lessons on PlayStation or something. He was able to land the plane because he could fly the plane. Well, there's one auto. thing: yeah. the autopilot. Auto was great too. Yeah. Right. yeah. She had to blow up the autopilot. Right. Well, you know, here's you know, here's the basic basic thing I, I I love about this movie. Everybody should give it a chance to go to flight school and learn how to take off and land. Especially and once, land. 
just oh, in case. It's so exciting. I mean, yeah, you yeah. Get don't a go feeling... to an airport and say, I just want to learn how to take off. That sure. doesn't go good anymore. <laughs> it's not so good. No, I agree. I agree That's Debbie. frowned I mean, upon it's, now. Yes. It's, it's, it's exhilarating to, to do that because like it never not made me, me want to be an airline pilot or anything like that. But I mean, I was flying airplanes before I learned how to drive and oh, wow. uh, it was really it was really fun. I, know, I took my money from my after school jobs and went and got flight lessons and worked on my license. And I actually declared an emergency one time. I actually got to the exciting thing of, well, am I going to die? Well, whatever. I'll just declare May Day. And I got to meet all the firemen and stuff like that. And, you know, wow. the, the movie captures the drama of that kind of experience Drew, pretty Drew, well because you, you know amazing. what you're doing. With CGI. You know what you're doing. Like he, he's a pro, but the right. danger is real. Except right. I was the only one in my aircraft. And he was responsible for everyone. Yeah, and that's I, the whole really thing about being good. responsible. That's where flight was so that you, that's why the courtroom drama in flight probably was a letdown because that scene uh, is I don't know uh, it's just amazing that uh, there's two there's two movie um, airplane crash scenes that that really got in my head. One is flight. The other one is the movie Fear with Jeff Bridges. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. a little oh, talked yeah. about movie. Right, movie. which has an amazing crash, which is horrible, but it's just like it's Millennium nice. had a great Millennium crash. had a couple. Hey, of I'm going to tell you why. Castaway, Castaway by the same director. Right. Yeah. That, FedEx, that is of also FedEx, really yeah. upsetting. Too. Here, here's one from like 1939 that you should definitely see if you've never seen it because the technology they had then was the plane crash in foreign's correspondent oh, yeah, yeah. hitchcock film hitchcock they yeah. go right into the thing and yeah. the water comes up and it's like and you're sitting there i was a little kid when i saw that movie in the library basement on 16 millimeter and i'm like how did they do that that was a real plane crash <laughs> i have you a know? question for you guys would you recommend idiot indian audiences who hasn't who haven't seen flight but have seen this would you think they would want to see flight i don't know I mean, you mean a Denzel Washington film? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Denzel's a you know, it's a great film. He's he's a very flawed character. I think I liked it better almost as much as Ralph. He's a very and that's what's great about it. It's flawed, and what's really fabulous about it is he's about to get away with it, and because they're going to blame, it's a reverse of this. Right. When Stewart is you know saves. It's right. You know that's right. It's a hundred percent reverse of what happened in this one. Where, I don't know. Like do Indian I mean, dies in flight at the end, and they're going to blame her, and they're going to blame her. It's like, oh, well, she was probably the one that did it, and who drank, like, who drank the liquor? That drank the liquor because right. someone had to have drank the liquor, and even though she's dead, he like can't. That's a bridge too far for him. He can't allow that. Well, he did have sex with her at the beginning of the film, too. Though. Yeah, and, yeah. Sp and speaking of sex, or let's let's just say maybe the most unbelievable aspect of this film was his wife who's like they bring in the woman yes we were partying all night this and that she doesn't bat an eye in fact in the next scene where he's doubting himself he's like you know i don't doubt you i trust my husband i'm like damn yeah you i know, forget so. did he did he uh mess around a little bit no. or was he just hanging out no. yeah, he, did. he was just, just partying party with, with his with friend him. yeah his, his buddy there friend. being party. a good wingman yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> But I tell you, another film that I loved, uh, flight film, is the one where they crash in the Andes Mountains. And oh, alive! Oh, they, they eat the soccer team. Yes, the first one or the second one? A delicious film. <laughs> the first one. There was there was one that was that oh, we came out. It was a foreign film now. that was way more brutal than this, yeah. the other one. But uh, that's the original one. Right. 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 Yeah. All right. So I know this is a the light, slight film, but thanks for watching. But do we, Zuby do? Or Zuby don't. I like the film. Loved it. Zuby do on this for me. I'm going to say Zuby do. I'm just a lead actor to me. I'll watch anything he's in. Yeah, and I'm I love him. Enjoy he's, it. he's got a lot going on. Yeah. I give a tepid Zuby do. Tepid. I'm going to I'm going to give it a Zuby meh, but I will say Netflix has continued to serve me that title. And when Ralph said we're going to watch it, I was like, good, because I I want to watch it, and <laughs> I really like the first half. So Zuby meh works for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a Zuby don't. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of positives to it. Like, you know, there's some good Like it ended. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Eventually. But I mean, for me it was just too much I mean if they hadn't, honestly, the thing that got me was that bottle at the end. Yeah. If they hadn't cleared that up, yeah. I would have felt I would have had a very different Well, like, you'd been you if you had known, if you had seen flight, you would have even 
been more frustrated because it was yeah. like, oh my god, it's like I he's can't perfect. believe it. I know. You well, know, that's right. the point, though. Being, I mean, that's what the point is. Other than being arrogant, he's right. perfect. Right. Yeah, that ended up pissing me off like a little bit when they did that. Characters. When they did that, I was a little pissed. Well, I, I think like, we lost why? one viewer because of we we did this film. So I just want to say, no, I'm sorry he might be that. curious to know why you liked it, Ralph. I just think it's a. I mean, I'm like I said, I was just comparing it to Flight. Yeah. I, I found it interesting. Gotcha. I, and, and both strong actors in the lead. And I just want to see, you know, and obviously it's a totally different vibe. So there you go. Um, was and then I see him in the. Successful? Do we know? I don't think it was, but I have no idea. I, I, could, I guess that. I can go to the IMDb. Does IMDb tell you how much it makes? Yeah, but it's in crones or whatever. I was going to say, it'll say crore, and then you won't know what that oh, is. Really? So. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I don't know. So uh, according to the, the one, a couple of our viewers said, this movie's garbage. So Yeah, I don't. Well, I, I mean, I don't agree with that. I mean, it, yeah, I mean no, not at all. No, it's not terrible. So, no. it's just, yeah. All right, well, we're not it's spinning a, the wheel it's, an it's a programmer. Yeah. We yeah. used to call him. <laughs> All right, so we're not spinning the wheel, John. What's the first film? I well, I don't have the list in front of me, Ralph. I thought so you'd I have it memorized. No, you've got the list. It was my movie, by the way. Well, let's just uh, pick something randomly. Who, whatever. <laughs> what's the list? You got the list, Ralph. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. I don't want to. It's I wanna, an Armir Khan film. I can tell you that right now. It is. Yeah, it is. It always is. Ralph. A, well, no, it this was is. one. This is one that a lot of people said to watch. That's why I picked it. You know the eight, Drew. What did you think of the eight that were picked for the the Pat uh, the the show we were talking about, Patrick's show? Is it Patrick? What do you mean? The eight movies that he picked to to to. Uh, oh, I I haven't seen all of them, but I think that you know they seem like a great list of just focusing on Bollywood because we've watched some of them. Yeah, and I think we what had similar the reactions. Ones that we've seen that well, we've seen we've seen Lagan. Yeah. Cholet. and um you've seen Cholet. Yeah. some of us have seen Cholet, and then other ones have been on the list or recommended to us like piazza and mughali azam i was surprised that he didn't pick um uh panther pachali or any of the apu movies because yeah, if anybody apu knows like anything about indian movies like from a film class or something they're going to know about those movies from the 50s more than they're going to know about bahubali or something like that but i i think you know he did a survey of movies that um I either already want to see them or was like, I'll move that up the list. That looks interesting. Yeah, his buddy picked his, his, his buddy. Who, no. No. They no. No. I uh, saw all the Apu films in double features at the Charles Theater over a couple, you know, over a while. I mean, some of them look but there's really only cool. three of them. How do you do two double features? Well, there was another Indian film after it. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. So the poll, twenty six percent. I thought there was Dil Doom Four. Chata High. Dil Chata High. How do I say that? I think that was one of the movies on Patrick Willem's list. I think it was. It? I think it yeah. was. Can I it's see it so I know how to spell story. it? Uh, I'll spell it. I don't want to pull it up. D-I-L, Chada, C-H-A-H-T-A, high, H-I-L. D-I-L. H-A-I. Chada. Ch Chada. Chada. Could you Bill text Chada it to high. me? Yeah, look it up. John texted it to you already. Take a look. I sent um, everybody the list. Yeah, so that'll be next week. It did. Excellent. Right. And then and the then week the after, week we'll do the viewer wheel. We spin the wheel. Are you going to, uh, I just have a question because I noticed you got a little reel back there with the Indian logo on it there. That Are you going to redo of, the Ahsoka. wheel No. for the viewer poll? No, it's just going to no. be the same wheel. That wheel comes on the internet like that. I didn't. I, I okay, didn't I thought you were going to because you. We I will pick, afford two wheels. I'm trying to pick the colors. Uh, you know, any one of you guys want to create a wheel? Go ahead, create a wheel. No. no. Okay. We Ralph, right. the wheel is it. the best thing you do. Yeah, just leave oh, the wheel alone. You. I well, might that change the color scheme. Quickly. Wow. I must change. I'll Make change the color wheel. scheme to match that thing, maybe. Yeah, That's yeah. I, I could do that. That thing. You, can do you, that. Mean, you mean that, the Indian flag? That color emblem symbol. Of, uh, it's a flag King wrapped Ahsoka. around a wheel. I mean, that thing's created. It's not an actual flag. So. Yeah, no. I mean, if it's not, you know, I mean, you don't have to do too much. It's a grand old flag, though. It's a high flying flag. Or Jim Um yeah, and remember, we're coming back from Memorial Day next week. It's going to be a busy Tuesday. And next, I'm going to be away. Tuesday. I'm going to be doing this from the road. Okay. Where are you going, Sean? I'm going to Wisconsin and then Florida. Are wow. you going to be partying? No, work. It's all work. He's going to work, and he's going Is to watch this... Indian movies. That's it. Yeah, I'm going to watch yeah. a lot of Indian movies. All right, well, we'll see you in Wisconsin next week. Wisconsin. 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 I got the shit kicked see out of me in Wisconsin once. You. It's like going to Czechoslovakia. Right. It's all right very much so all right that's good good one runway 34 we got that one out of the way i kind of liked it 
Now we on to the poll, the viewer poll, viewer wheel. It's going to be next uh, 13 weeks of excitement. You, I can't 13 believe. Weeks. If that doesn't get you to subscribe, hit the notification button, smash the like button. I don't know what will. Yeah. I don't know. Well, and also I want to announce that there's going to be a spinoff show. It's just going to be Debbie and I. We're going to put cigarettes in our mouths and not light them and talk about flying airplanes. So that'll be premiering soon. Keep an eye out for that. I think you guys should do that. That sounds nice. like fun. You guys could do a virtual uh, flight. Do it like you're flying in a plane. A little green screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Crappy like CGI. That. You could go. Like you guys that. could pull it up. Yeah. So. If there was only some kind of flight simulator we could use, I don't know. Maybe I'll find out if there's a software. Find All an right. animated cartoon. That, it looks just like the movie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, everybody have a good week. John, yeah, safe trip to Wisconsin. Thank we'll you see much. you from, from Wisconsin. From the and, road. Uh, you will see me from the road. All right, well, see you next week. We'll see right. you, John. Bye, bye.